I worship you. I worship you. You are here, yeah. rearranging destinies, and we worship you. We worship you. You are here, turning lives around, and we worship you. God, we worship you. God, you are here. You're mending every heart. And we worship you. We worship you. Softly, softly. And we call him way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Do you call him a way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper? Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are here, you are here. Touching every heart, we worship you. I worship you. God, that's what we owe you. I worship you. Oh, you are here. Healing every life, healing every life. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Keep up. 
And Lord, I just ask that you bless the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart. They might be acceptable in your sight. For you are my strength and my redeemer. It's through you that I am, you that I breathe, you that I live and die. Amen. Six days before the Passover, Jesus therefore came to Bethany where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. So they gave a dinner for him there. Martha served and Lazarus was one of those reclining with him at the table. Mary therefore took a pound of expensive anointment made from pure nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But, anytime you see a but, something about to happen. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, he who was about to betray him said, why was this ointment not sold for 300 denarii and given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief and having charge of the money bag. He used to help himself to what was put into it. Jesus said, leave her alone so that she may keep it for the day of my burial. For the poor you always have with you, but you do not always have me. For just a few moments this morning, I want to preach on the subject for the love of Jesus. For the love of Jesus. We, we, we got a love for a lot of things, everybody. Come on, y'all. Amen. Amen. Lee, you got a love for Calvin. Amen. Amen. Miss CJ got an over the top crazy love for Reverend Wade. <laughs> she won't slap nobody for Reb, though. Amen. Did I say that? I didn't say that. Did I say that? I didn't say that. I didn't. God, I, I tried to get that out of me before I got here, bro. Gun. But how many of us have that true love for Jesus? A love that will do anything for God. Verse 1 says, six days before the Passover, Jesus arrived in Bethany. Bethany was just a small little Jewish village a few miles outside of Jerusalem where people often stayed on their way to the Passover because Jerusalem would get full so they would stop and stay in Bethany where it was easier to find room and board. This was also the home of Jesus' closest friends, Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. Jesus used their home as a sort of resting place, a, a spot that, that he might even call his headquarters when he was in town. This family gave a special dinner for Jesus. Just, 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 just not just any, any family, but, but, but a certain family that, that gave this special dinner for Jesus and primarily because of what Jesus had done for them in raising Lazarus from the dead. Y'all know the story. There's three main characters in this passage. There's Jesus, there's Mary, and then there's that boy Judas. Now, 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 Mary's gift to Jesus 
it is viewed in different ways by different people. Of course, Judas felt it was a waste. Come on. Now, now, now we might go around the room and everybody will have their own feelings about this gift. But, but, but Judas felt it was a waste. And, and it wasn't because Judas really cared, like the scripture said, about the poor. Judas wanted his hand on the money. Let, let's talk about the gift for a moment. The gift is an alabaster container of a pint of gnawed. And I, I had, to, had, to, had to really dig on this around Wednesday and look at this uh, once I got back in town. And, and, and gnawed is an oil made from the root of a plant that's grown in two areas of the world. Wow. Wow. India and Asia. It's imported. It's very costly. 300 denarii in that time was a year's wage. A whole year. Nard is still available today. Wow, you didn't know that. It, it, it would cost probably $328 for a pint of what Mary used. That's pretty costly, everybody. Now, now, now Mary uses this gift in a way that, that definitely drew a lot of attention to her. First of all, it was unlawful for a woman to touch a man in public. And the only women that, 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 that let their hair down were harlots. We call them, amen. But, but, but Mary throws aside tradition. Oh, somebody better say amen. Every now and then you got to throw aside tradition. Every now and then you, you got to quit doing what you've always done because you keep getting the crazy things that you've always gotten. She threw aside tradition and conventional thinking. She, 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 she didn't let restraint stop her, and she pours this oil on Jesus' feet. She didn't care what people thought. Hmm. I just said something. She didn't care what people thought. It, it, we'd get farther along, everybody, if we didn't care what people thought. Amen. Amen. Because you've heard Reb say, I really don't care because they didn't pay that electric bill this month. And, and, and if, this, if there's a time to pay my electric bill, it's now. Because Florida Parlor and Lights, they just acting the fool. Now you want to get my attention, pick that note up this month. Y'all better hear Reb this morning. She didn't care what people thought. We lose our minds on what, well, I don't know what they're going to say. She was going to show her love for Jesus. Somebody shout for the love of Jesus. That's it. Of course, those present, they question in their mind and one out loud. What was Mary thinking. Lord have mercy. You're going you're gonna to break a bottle of Gucci and pour it on somebody's feet? What? First of all, who does she think she is letting her hair down? That's outrageous. How dare she be so bold? They may have even gotten mad. Mmm. I found that people who are looking for a reason to be mad, they're going to find it. 
some, somebody run into them. Y'all, some of y'all don't ran into them kind of folks. Come on now. Always looking for something to say. Never happy about anything. And when people mad, they happy. Oh, y'all know. Yeah, I, I can tell some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Mm, 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 mm. See, see, in, 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 in those days, in those days, this was worse than Chris Rock getting hit by Will Smith. I've been trying, I want to keep that out, but I, it just keeps sliding back in, y'all. I got it out of my system, I think, I think, I think. No, I don't, no, I don't. Y'all, that was the craziest thing I ever seen. Amen. And I, I, want, I want our kids to know from Rev that made us look bad. We can dress you up and can't take you anywhere. Give you half a billion dollars and you still act like you're broke. Okay, I think I got it out of my system. Okay, let me raise up three verses. Let me raise up three verses that's very important that, that God has really opened up to me and, 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 and says that, that, that I, I got to show you here. Go with me to verse 6. Go with me to verse 6. Everybody open your Bibles and go with me to verse 6 because this is, this, this, I mean, God just really has poured these three passages out and showed this to me. He says, if you dare say amen in verse 6. He said, he said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief and having charge of the money bag he used to help himself to what was put in it. God wants me to leave on your mind from this verse, this one thought this morning. What do you really care about? What do you really care about? Family? House? Job? Come on now. Investment, possessions, oh, possessions. Mmm, mmm. Uh, what do you really care about? Mmm, watch this, watch this. Th then he laid this on me. He says, well, how many of you care about your faith? H how many of you care about your faith? If, if Judas cared about his faith, he wouldn't have been worried about it. That all. Come on, y'all. How, how many of you are caring for your faith? How, how are you caring? Listen to this. How are you caring and building up your faith? Are, are, are you hitting the floor and thanking God when you wake up in the morning? Come on, somebody. Come on. Are, are, are you in his word in the midst of your day? How many of you learn in his word in various ways? Come on. Are you blessing him in the midst of your trials? Are you crying like you don't know him? How, are you bowing down to his commandments? Or are you, are you, you working them the way you want to work them? Come on, come on, come on. Are, are you blessing him at the end of your day, thanking him for your trials and tribulations, telling him, hallelujah, Lord, even though I've gone through these problems today, I know you still got me. Problems, problems may rise, but God, I know you still got me. Health might not be where I want it, but God, I'm still here. Do you care about your faith or have you even thought about it? Hebrews 10, 38 and 39 says, but my righteous, my righteous one shall live by faith. Oh, you got to live by faith. Come on now. And, and if he shrinks back, listen to this. Listen to this, listen to this. And if he shrinks back, my soul has no pleasure in him. God, God is saying, hey, it, for all that I've done for you, if you step out of what I've given you, I ain't got no pleasure with you. Watch this. Then it says, but we are not. Somebody say we are not. We are not of those who shrink back and are destroyed. But listen to this. But of those who have faith and preserve 
our souls. Because of what I believe, because of who I know woke me up this morning, I'm going to stand on his word. I'm going to do what he wants me to do. I'm going to be where he wants me to be. I'm going to bless his people the way he wants me to bless them. That I might preserve my soul. I'm going to walk in my faith. Some folks hide their faith when they get out in public. Come on, y'all. Young people, young people, don't hide your faith. Don't hide your faith in school. Because once you start hiding your faith, hiding who you really are, Satan will come and sit in the classroom with you. He'll do your math. He'll do your homework. That's why you get them bad grades. Come on, somebody. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9 says, For by grace you have been saved through faith. Come on, y'all. And and this is not your own doing, the word says. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one... Don't boast about where you are. Don't sit back and think you did it on your own, because you did. You might have a mansion on it here. You might have this. You might have that. But you didn't do it on your own. So don't boast. Don't boast. Teach our kids. Don't boast. Because, God, hey, God can take it in the twinkling of an eye. Ask me. I know. Been there. Done that. Mm. And what God does, what God does. God will whip you till, till you have to surrender. Ask me. I know. He'll let you... Get, get, just get so high and mighty, you forget coming to church. I ain't got time for this. I ain't got time for that. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Start playing golf at 11 o'clock instead of showing up. Come on, somebody. I know, I know what I'm talking about. Got to have, have, have you serving hamburgers. Ask me, I know. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling you, you, don't play with God. If you don't care about your faith, everything else is lost. Oh, come on, I'm going to take you to this next one. Watch this. Go, go with me to verse 7. Come on. Go with me to verse 7. Go with me to verse 7. Verse 7 says, Jesus said, leave her alone. Not like Will Smith said. I thought I had that out. Leave her alone so that she may keep it for the day of my burial. That's pretty deep, y'all. Jesus was first of all in a protective mode and in a mode of prophecy. Come on, come on. He was protecting Mary and her gift, and prophesizing of his death at the same time. Mm. So, so you ask, what, what does God have for me in this passage? Well, I'm glad you asked. God, God spoke this to me and, and says, you know, God has given all of us some gifts. Come on. So, so the question he wants me to ask you today is what are you waiting on with your gift? Oh, don't get quiet now. What are you waiting on with your gift? Mm. He, 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 he made it clear. He made it clear. Hey, this what she has gotten and given me now? Leave her alone. Something's going to happen over here. So she's waiting to do that. But ain't nobody standing and saying what you're waiting on. You got to tell us. You got to share with us. Oh, wow, 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 wow. God, God has given us three T's. Y'all have heard me say it before. Time, talent, and treasure. Amen. Are you giving him sufficient time? Mm, mm. What, what, what gifts has he given you to use in this realm so that you may be found worthy to worship with him in the heavenly realm? Oh, oh, wait a minute. 
Mm, if, you can't, if you can't do it down here, if you can't take time to do it down here and praise him, come on now. Why, 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 why do you think you're going to be worthy to hang out with him in heaven? I try to make this plain and simple, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Now, 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 I know you don't even want me to get into the treasure. I know you don't. What are you waiting for? 1 Peter 4, 10 through 11 says this. As each has received a gift, use it to serve one another. Use it to serve one another. <coughs> Let me say that one more time because I only heard two people say amen. Use it to serve one another. As good stewards of God's varied grace. Whoever speaks as, as one who speaks oracles of God, whoever serves as one who serves by the strength that God supplies in order that in everything God may be glorified. Through Jesus Christ, to him be glory, dominion forever and ever and ever and ever. If he gave you the opportunity, if he gave you the blessing, if he gave you the strength to serve, if he gave you the ability to usher, if he gave you the ability to sing, whatever it is, use it for the glory of God. God's tired of you sitting back saying, ah, oh, they don't want that, 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 that. you got a million reasons why you can't do one little thing. You don't have time for God. Well, I'm too busy to do that. Let me ask y'all something. What if God said, Brother Scott, well, I, I can bless everybody, but I ain't got time to give Brother Scott no air this morning. Second Timothy 1 and 6 says, For this reason I remind you to fan the flame of the gifts of God. That means keep the flame going. Don't let the fire go out. Don't, uh, watch this. That also means don't let anybody quench your gift. Because y'all say I can't sing don't mean I'm going to stop singing. Jesus. Thank you, bro. Might not be good in your ear, but it sounds good to me and God. Here's my final one. Here's my final one. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, go down there to verse 8 with me. I'm going to let you go. Verse 8 says, this is For the poor you always have with you, but you do not always have me. God said, mm. the Lord laid this on me very heavy this morning in this passage. Watch this. He says, Williams, where is God in your priorities? You, you, oh, you're going to have time to do this. You're going to have time to do that. But, but the text says, he told them, you're not going to always have me. Mm. Hey, have you given God 10%, 30% of your time? Do, 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 do we thank him before we get started or after we run into the roadblocks? Come on. When do you start calling on God? Mm. I, heard, I heard one of my, my babies here in the church had eye surgery in the next couple of days. She turned around and broke her leg. When do we start calling on God? Mm. Mm. We had them good days. We, we had them good months. Everything good. I, I, I mean, it's great. It's great. It's great. It's so great. We, we enjoy ourselves to the fullest, to the max. And, and then something happens. Then all of a sudden you go down on your knees. Screaming, How, Lord, have mercy, please. Because you heard somebody else say it. Amen. 
Mm. Do, do, we, do we take him our problems or praise him? Come on, y'all, for his power and his providence. Mmm. Mmm. Is every time God hearing us on the phone, are we asking him for something? Matthew 6, 33. Those of you that's flipping through your phone, it says, but seek first the kingdom of God. Come on, y'all. And his righteousness. First, you got to seek God and what he wants done. And watch the last part of this. And all these things will be added to you. Woo! Put God first, <laughs> he'll put you in the mix. Come on, y'all. Seek him and his righteousness. Bless God. Let him know that he woke you up. Let him know that he started you on your way. Bless God. Just bless him. You'll, you'll lead a tax man like I did, and he'll say, oh, you're getting $2 back. I was happy. Y'all don't hit me right now. I've been paying him every year. <laughs> Two dollars back is like a million dollars to me. Y'all laughing about my two dollars, but me and CJ gonna split that two dollars. We were sitting there, I was telling about this, telling about that, da 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 da, da. And then I turned around and said, and we getting money back. She said, what? Y'all better hear Reb this morning. We, 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 we try to put him first in our lives. Proverbs, Proverbs, Proverbs 16 and 3 says, hey, commit your works to the Lord, and then your plan shall be established. You see, that's what happened when Kelly and I went to that meeting because we commit our works to God. Before we got there, the plan was established. Y'all don't hear me right now. Y'all don't hear me right now. Because, because we don't take the maximum amount of money for rent on our rental property, God is going to bless us because he trusts us. Church family, church family, we, we are probably, probably allowing people to pay us half of what we could get. Y'all better hear what I'm talking this morning. But because, bro, Rob, we are, we are using it as ministry and blessing his people, God said, well, I'll trust you with some more. But see, once we get greedy, <laughs> and, 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 and each year the lady that, that does our property manager asks Ken, do you want to go up on the rent? And, rent, and, 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 and Ken says, well, no, we're going to leave it right there. And, and he has faith enough to make that statement knowing where my heart is. Amen. See, that's when, that's, that's when you evenly yoked. That's when everybody's thinking on the same wavelength. What, what? Psalm 37 and 4, and this is the last one I'm going to give you. Delight yourself in the Lord. Mm. Delight yourself in the Lord. Look at somebody and tell them, delight yourself in the Lord. And then he will give you the desires of your heart. Get happy with God. Get happy with his commandments. Get happy with his glory. Get happy with God. Then he'll open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing you don't have room enough to receive. Get happy with God every now and then. 
show him, show him that you are thankful for his mercies and his grace. Let him know, let him know, Lord, thank you for waking me up this morning. Because let me tell you something, he didn't have to do it. Church family, you're blessed. Church family, you're blessed. Church family, you are blessed. You need to tell God, thank you. No matter where he has you at, bless him anyway. Show him, show him. You are grateful for his mercy and his grace. For the love of Jesus is what it's all about. We, 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 get, we, 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 we get comfortable. But God is worthy of the praise. For the love of Jesus. He's worthy of your time. He's worthy of your talent. He's worthy of your treasure. For what he's already done. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not about the Easter eggs, baby. So y'all know that. It's not, it's, it's not, it's not just about the fact that he got on the cross. It's the fact that they, when they took him down, he still got up. And what he tells us, if he can get up, he's giving you the power. You can get up. You can rise above your problem. You can rise above the naysayers. You can rise above that boss that won't give you a promotion. It's for the love of Jesus. What do you care for today? What, what do you care for today? Come on, won't you stand to your feet?